what's going on guys welcome back to come on keeping it real well me and eclipse gonna try to get out the cabin this morning before it gets too hot out here and take a little walk i will have to say that this is by far the worst week that i've had in arkansas yet um as you've seen on the thumbnail he didn't make it uh, the cat passed away um it actually happened a couple of days ago i just wasn't ready to talk about it yet with being sick and everything but uh i fought it for about two days i was feeding him with a syringe some milk and water and all of that basically every hour on the hour and uh trying to give him a little bit of nutrients and stuff wormer everything that y'all seen in the come on homesteading video that i went and got i gave it pretty much everything that i had to save him but unfortunately i was unable to do so um you know that's part of this life part of the off-grid homesteading life you're gonna have loss it's something that you kind of got to get used to but it doesn't make it any easier um I knew it was a risk when I got him. He was the runt, and uh, he was very lethargic and stuff whenever I got him and wasn't really doing well to begin with and more than likely was going to pass away no matter what. But I wanted to try to save him and give him the best chance that I could to save him and kind of get him away from uh, all the other ones that was taking nutrients and stuff from him and be able to just kind of give him some one-on-one -on -one love and try to uh, do everything I could to save the little fella. And it's unfortunate, but it is part of this lifestyle. It's one of the uh, worst parts of this lifestyle. Anytime you're dealing with animals, you're gonna run into that. Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna have loss, it's part of it. But I took a couple of days before I decided to announce it with me getting sick and everything. It's just, I've had a lot going on and uh, trying to keep up with a sick cat and myself being sick, man, it's been, it's been a long week. It's been a very, very long week. Probably the toughest week that I've had here. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I told y'all from the beginning, I'm gonna show you the, the good, the bad, and the ugly on this channel. I'm gonna keep it real with you on this channel and let you know that everything's not always peaches and cream out here <laughs> you know it's just part of it and you got to kind of take your lumps and just kind of keep on going and that's kind of what's going on right now it's been a bad week but you know what tomorrow's a new day and i try to make the best out of every day kind of what i'm doing this morning it's been a it's been a rough week but I really enjoy these morning little walks. It kind of lets my body move around a little bit because I've been doing what the doctor said. I've been doing what you guys have said. I have literally shut it down. I have been doing nothing but laying on my back, watching YouTube videos, catching up with old friends' videos and stuff that I've been so busy that I got behind on, reading all of you guys' comments. I haven't responded to a ton, but I heard them just to let you know that I read them. And like I said in yesterday's video, I greatly appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. It means the world to me. I appreciate y'all going back on my main channel and watching all my old videos. And uh, a couple of y'all have left some comments. Y'all are getting a kick, <laughs> kind of like I do, out of the old videos. Hold on one second. But drinking orange juice getting a bunch of vitamin c in me before i started filming this i took my men one a day vitamins i took a uh, 500 milligrams of vitamin c i also uh took zinc i also took my uh next pill for my z-pack and uh so i'm doing everything i can to kind of beat this let me show you some cute Eclipse is out here exploring too. This is one of her favorite uh, activities with her daddy. He's going on little walkabouts. 
She likes all the new smells and all of that. And it does good for me too to kind of see her kind of hanging out like a hair in a biscuit. I am feeling a little better today. I'm still very weak. I feel like once that sun comes up and starts kicking, which it's starting to rise right now, it would zap my energy quick. Um, the doctor did tell me after talking to me, she said, you are definitely the type of person just as soon as you feel a little bit better that you're going to just start getting it again. She said, do not do it. Don't do it. She said, because it end up coming back on you even worse. So I'm going to try to fight the urge. I'm going to just take it easy. These little videos right here are easy for me. It's just a nice little walk and talk. And it kind of gives me something to do. Keeps my mind moving a little bit. And also allows me to update y'all what's going on. Speaking of which, I miss this guy right here. Go Ridge Life. If y'all ain't checked his channel out, make sure you go check his channel out. He just put an awesome vacation video out. I think they went to uh, Lake Vermont or somewhere like that or... Yeah, I think Lake Vermont, something like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous views. They got to do all the fun. It was a good time. So I actually appreciated that video because with me laying there stuck in a cabin, I got to see some beautiful views and see my buddy having a good time. So that was awesome. Let me show you this too. This We're down here. I went the other direction this time on this video. This is the creek that runs behind the cabin. And it is dry. I can't wait to get my snake boots and walk it and kind of check it out. The pond is right over there. But it's pretty grown up right now. So I haven't been. <laughs> Eclipse trying to drink my orange juice. You can't have none of my orange juice. That's my orange juice. You got water. And this is the other side. This right here is what goes to the the main creek slash river. I got a uh, I got a new little selfie stick that I've been wanting to try out to make these vlogs. Kind of gets me a little bit further away from the camera, and uh, it's working out pretty good. But it's definitely going to take me some getting used to holding and being able to switch the camera views and all of that. Come on. But it is gorgeous out here. I love it. This right here to me is the best medicine that I can do. Is go out here and get a little bit of that vitamin D. Get some of that sun on me before it gets to where it's cooking me. And just listen to all the cicadas. I think is what they're called. Because I don't know. This is my own little peaceful little joy that I do. And with the week that I've had. I need it. I definitely need it. It's been a, it's been challenging to say the least. I'm not going to lie. Whenever you're off grid and you're doing all of this by yourself, you never feel lonelier than when you're sick. You know, even though I got a lot of people calling and checking on me, I got a lot of awesome friends and family in the area that uh, has got my best wishes and needs in their minds and they call on me daily and check make sure i'm all right so i don't feel like i'm alone but just being out in that cabin all day long by yourself sick i mean and it's nothing but you and your thoughts basically it definitely uh it's probably the lonelier times of being off grid but at the same time when you have all the comments coming in from you guys with all the well wishes and prayers and support and then your friends always calling and checking on you it also lets you know that you're not alone and that you got people that care about you. We're gonna do a little hiking real quick here. You'll see me looking down a lot, I'm checking for the danger noodles. Make sure I don't end up having even a worse week. I'm down here at another section of the creek. Uh, put my orange juice down, show you guys. Look at that. It is crazy to how there's just no movement. What do you think about it, Eclipse? What do you smell? What do you smell? What is it? What is it? That's a big old hill, huh? You can see the barbed wire right there. 
I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. Where I used to have a fence line here. They said they used to run cattle and stuff around here. So I need to go through there. I know I got like random T posts and stuff laying everywhere. I need to go around with the tractor one day, cut some trails and collect all of those. Right here is one of the big potholes. I'll show you that on the way back. The sun right now is kind of glaring it out. What are you doing? You wide open. The further we walk, the more energy you get. I wish I had that going on right now. Oh, that sun is bright. Uh, what do y'all think about these little walks, guys? Leave it in the comments. You like going on a little nature walk with me? We're almost coming up to the trash part of the property. Unfortunately, boy, Eclipse is getting more and more energy as we go. Show you this too. Hold on one second. Ah. This is another runoff that goes down to the creek off the main road right here. When that logging road down there floods it, it kind of comes down here, washes out everything to here, runs off that way. And then what doesn't keeps on running down and runs down that way over there. I think this right here is about as far as I'm going to take Eclipse down. I don't want her to get too used to roaming too far down there. I don't want her getting down there where the white horse is and all of that stuff. I don't want her to think that it's okay to go too far. But I do like her being able to explore. And she loves it. It gives us a little one-on-one -on -one time, a little bonding time. Because it's very important, from what I read with Huskies, to have a real close connection with them. It makes for a, a whole lot easier to train them. If you're the alpha dog, as they see it, and you have that real close bond with them. So I try to take as much of this time as I can with her. That way she stays happy and she gets to run because that's her day right there. All day, every day running. She has chewed up so much stuff at my front door. I've been sick and I haven't felt like bending over and picking everything up that she chews. Let me tell you what, boy, she's got a lot of it chewed up. It's going to take me an hour to clean up all that mess. Come on. Let's go. Another good thing about these walks is I get to search for rocks. I got to finish that fire pit area here soon and I'm needing a bunch of big rocks for these uh, rock sculptures that I'm planning on building. I got it in my head of what I want it to look like. We'll see what it turns out. I've never done nothing like that before. So we'll see. Speaking of T-Post. Well, I guess it's not going to switch. See what I mean? Got to get used to this selfie thing right here. See what I mean about random T-Post? Just laying around. I don't know if you can see all the rock in the river right there, too. I'm in shorts today, or else I would take y'all in the woods a little bit, but... Clips don't have no problem going in the woods. She's wide open. How long have we been on here? 13, almost 14 minutes. Yeah, but, uh... I guess for a little recap, it's been a rough week. I'm extremely sad that I wasn't able to save the kitten. I do have a, I do have another kitten in the making. Um, just a matter of it getting old enough to be able to come here. Because I do want to have two cats. That way the cat has somebody to kind of bond with and hang out. Because they are going to be pretty much working cats here on the homestead and I think they'll do better in a pair so I do have another male lined up it's just a matter of him getting old enough to come here this one is not the runt um, it's very very healthy right now so hopefully that stays and I can get old Ryder a friend there Ryder's doing great the Ryder is all over the place wide open that cat right there 
um, was right there with me the whole time. Every time that I was feeding his brother and uh, with the syringe and everything, he was right there in my lap, like concerned. And uh, ever since his brother's passed, he has literally been up my butt. The rider feels like he needs to touch me at all times. Like if I'm sitting there and trying to edit or something like that, he's on the desk or in my lap. If I lay on the bed, he wants to come up on the bed and lay right beside my hip or in my armpit, like constantly. So me and him's definitely bonded and he's doing very, very well. He's full of energy, a whole lot of energy. Hillman Eclipse is doing good. I'm still monitoring them very, very closely because Eclipse hasn't tried to do him any harm yet. But Eclipse is rough. She gets excited and pouncing around with those big old paws of her. And he is way too small to take a licking like that. So I pretty much, I let them play every single day together. Uh, Ryder likes to go up and snuggle with Eclipse and stuff. It's the cutest thing ever. I'll try to get it on video. But I have to like sit there with Eclipse and like make her set. And just kind of let them hang down. And Eclipse will lick her and all of that. But I got to keep Eclipse from pouncing. Because she likes to take her paw and pounce. So I don't want her to end up breaking his back or something like that. But it's cute to see. I think they're going to end up being good friends. As soon as Ryder gets a little bit better. But... It's just my little update. I'm getting a little weak. I'm not going to lie. I might have pushed it a little bit walking this far today. So I'm going to head back to the cabin. Get back in the AC. Get some water in me. Finish off my orange juice. And I'll check in again tomorrow, guys. And let y'all know how I'm doing. Like I said, I'm sorry to inform y'all about the kitten. It really, really, really sucks. It's definitely made for... A bad week here on the mountain but it is part of this lifestyle it is part of having animals and livestock and all that other stuff you're gonna have loss and I'm aware of that but it definitely doesn't make it any easier but until we see each other again guys come on keep it real